Good morning, good morning. Welcome back to my channel, and uh, I will be uh, I will attempt to predict the uh, match week five fixtures of the SPFL Premiership. Now the international break is over, league football is back, and thank goodness it is back. Like I've said, um, I absolutely hate the international break. So it is nice. It is very very nice. To actually have it, but have uh, at least some so some league football uh, back as well. Um, so obviously the last time out, um, it was a bit of a mixed week if I'm being honest. Uh, obviously I said Aberdeen to win Ross against Ross County, but I said two 0 That was three 0 Hearts Hamilton, I got completely wrong. I said one 0 to Hearts, and it was a two two draw. Uh, Livingston St Mirren, I went for a two one win to uh, Livingston, and that was correct. It was a two one to win to Livingston. Mullowell Hibs, I went for a 2 1 win to Mullowell, that was 3 0. Uh, St Johnston Kilmarnock, I went for a 1 1 draw, and that was a 1 0 defeat to uh, Kilmarnock and Rangers Celtic. Uh, I said 2 1 to Rangers, and it was 2 0 to Celtic. So, uh, it has to be said that there are some very, very good games this week, and uh, the first match I'm going to preview is Hamilton against Celtic. Now, the last five games between these sides. Celtic have won five, uh, all five fixtures uh, recently, and the last game between the sides, in fact, was a three 0 win to Hamilton. Uh, to sorry, three 0 win to Celtic uh, at um, New Douglas Park. Uh, I know it's not called that, but I, I I'm calling it New Douglas Park because I've known it forever to be New Douglas Park. So um, I'm just gonna call it that way. Uh, Hamilton. Obviously, 2-2 two -two against Hearts last time out. And obviously, you know, uh, the, the one thing I can say about that one is that Hearts, um, you know, went 2-0 in front. And, then, you know, Hamilton came back and obviously it was a 2-2 two -two draw. Uh, but George Oakley, still the stat now of uh, scoring in every game. If he scores, then Hamilton don't lose. So that's a good stat to have. Um, I do think, though, that... You know, they are scoring goals and they are conceding goals. So they need just need to sort of tighten up at the back and uh, then they'll be then they'll be done they'll be absolutely fine. Um but yeah, George George Oakley's been a fantastic signing from uh, Inverness Cali Thistle and uh you know he'll want to he'll want to perform uh he'll want to perform this weekend definitely against uh, against a, a Celtic team that will be all will be definitely confident, especially having won the old firm derby so four wins out of four for celtic it's been a very good start to the to the season for uh, for celtic and you know against rangers you know not many people gave them any hope and i think this is what luke shanley was saying to me on the sam radio football show a couple of weeks ago that neil lennon said to him that he was very disappointed by obviously people not giving celtic a chance because it was oh, it was basically because it was Ibrox. So um, yeah, it was a good uh, it was a good win for uh, for Celtic, and uh, I think you have to say that uh, they'll go into this one with lots of confidence. Uh, as far as this game goes, I can only really see one winner, especially because obviously Celtic are playing at Hamilton. This is a I think it's a twelve o'clock kickoff. I think or it could be twelve thirty. Uh, but yeah. It's a very it's a, it's the early game to uh, the, uh, this weekend, and obviously Hamilton uh, play Celtic, so I'm gonna go for a Celtic win, and I think they might win at a counter. I'm going for Hamilton nil, Celtic four. Aberdeen against St Johnson. Now the last five between these two, Aberdeen have won three. There's been one draw and there's been one win for St Johnston. and in fact the last game between the sides, St Johnston actually beat. Aberdeen by two goals to nil, but obviously this was when Aberdeen were having their home troubles at uh, Petaudry. So, yeah, that's something they will definitely have to build on is their home form. Uh, but at the moment, no problems, no problems at all for uh, for Aberdeen and their uh, and their home form. Especially the last game, obviously three 0 winners over Ross County. Uh, very good performance from uh, from Aberdeen. Obviously Sam Cosgrove now scoring goals. Uh, but he, you know, he he started the season well as well. Uh, obviously, Greg Lee's getting uh goals as well. So you know, Aberdeen have got definitely they've definitely got goals in their team. Um, and it's just it's just a it's just a case. But they have had a bit of an indifferent start. Obviously, losing to St Mirren away, uh, and obviously no nil against Kilmarnock, 
um, as well. So it's you know it's gonna be it's gonna be very very interesting to see how they how they do in this one. Obviously they've lost Stevie May now, who plays for St Johnston. So he will be determined to go up back up to Petodre and prove all the all the Aberdeen fans wrong that they that they were wrong to sell him. But you know you know basically when the when a move doesn't really materialise. Well, it was that for Stevie, it wasn't it for Aberdeen. Um, so, yeah, St Johnston, obviously, bottom of the table at the moment, root at the bottom, but still no wins, and losing to Kamarnock at home last time out wasn't very, very good, but, you know, I'm sure wins will come along soon, sooner rather than later, but, you know, if it does continue, then you do have to worry for Tommy Wright. Uh, because I know there's, I know, like I said, he has done very well for St Johnston as a manager, but there does come a time that you do outlive, outstay your welcome, and it is thinking that it could be that kind of case, but who knows, who knows for this one. Uh, as far as this one goes, I just have to go for home advantage. I do think it'll be a very tight game. Uh, both of these sides obviously want them to win. Um... Obviously, St. Johnson will definitely want to get wins as soon as possible. But for this one, I'm going for an Aberdeen win. I'm going for uh, Aberdeen to win against St. Johnston. Uh, and I think it will be 2-1. I can see St. Johnston scoring. I can maybe see Stevie May scoring. Uh, who knows? But uh, yeah, for me, Aberdeen to win 2-1 against St. Johnston. Hearts against Mullowell. Now, the last five between these two, uh, in fact, uh, Hearts have won three there's been no draws and Mullowell won two. Uh, the last game at Tyne, at Tyne Castle was a 1-0 win uh, last season. But obviously the, the recent fixture, Hearts went to Mullowell won 2-1 in the Scottish League Cup. So, you know, they'll, they'll be inter it'll be interesting to see what, uh, what happens. Um, what's happened to Hearts? I mean, you know, the, the thing is that Craig Halkett was brought in. Hands down being Hearts' best player. Hands down. Um, just defensively, they're an absolute shambles. Yes, they've had injury problems. Yes, I get that, obviously, you know, Stevie Naismith has been injured. But he's back now, so you can un you could probably expect him to, uh, to, to you know, start, start scoring the goals. Other thing is, though, that, obviously, Pereira is a doubt. It'll be interesting to see if he is actually available because uh, obviously he got injured uh, yeah the the injury list is piling up for hearts especially obviously Pereira, Suter, Walker you know it is starting to pile up and it is a bit of a worry for uh, for hearts and then obviously the uncertainty over uh, over Craig Levine as well hearts fans just I just I think they're getting sick and tired of it to be honest I think I think that's I think that's a bit of an understatement obviously uh, but this will be a very, very tricky game, and it'll be a very, very close game, I think, uh, between these two. Mullowell, obviously, 3-0 winners over Hibernian last time out. Very, very good performance. Uh, Herbies were very poor that day. But you have to say that Mullowell really dominated the game and, you know, played very, very well. So, uh, obviously, the last game between these sides, the League Cup game, was a 2-1 win to Hearts. I just have a feeling that obviously with Hearts' form at the moment, obviously they'll definitely want to improve after the international break. But for me, Mullowell are the team on form. Uh, they haven't won at Tynecastle since 2014. However, I do think that may all change on Saturday. I just think Mullowell are the stronger team at this present moment in time. And I think it's more doom and gloom for the Jambos, I'm afraid. I think it's going to be a 2-1 win to Mullable Hearts. 1, Mullable 2. Kilmarnock against Hibs. Now, the last five between these sides is, is quite quite, uh, quite even uh, pickings, actually. Uh, there's been two wins to Kilmarnock, two wins to Hibs, and a draw there, in, there for good measure. And the last game between the sides was a 1-0 win to Kilmarnock. And I do believe this was the second last game of the season, if I remember rightly. Um, Kilmarnock, obviously, Angelo Alessio has got his first win as manager of, of Kilmarnock. It was a very good performance against St Johnston. Uh, yes, they had to, obviously, uh, grind it out in the end, but it was a very, very good win for them to take back to, uh, to obviously, Ayrshire. 
and it'll be very very interesting to see how they do this weekend uh obviously back at rugby park where they've had a bit of a, uh, an indecent start obviously uh you know no no against aberdeen uh obviously that was followed up by obviously a 2-1 defeat to rangers uh as well so yeah, they'll they'll definitely be wanting to make rugby park a fortress, and you know rugby park was definitely a fortress last season. So, you definitely need to need to make that a fortress uh, again. Hibernian three nil defeat to uh, Mullerwell. Uh, their away form is really worrying, considering that they lost six one, and they lost three nil. That's nine goals in two games that they've conceded away from home. Which is a bit of a concern, considering that obviously next week is the end with Derby. And at this present moment in time, you couldn't pick who's going to win that end with Derby. You really couldn't. So, for me, this game, I can't really separate the two. I think Obviously, with Hibs' poor uh, away form, it would kind of tip towards Kamara. But I just feel that, obviously, I know Kamara did win against St. Johnston. It is a bit concerning that they can't seem to get that consistency going. So for me, I'm going to go for a 1-1 draw between Kilmarnock and Hibs, but I do think it'll be a very, very tight game uh, in that aspect. So Kilmarnock 1, Hibs 1. Rangers against Livingston. Now, who would have predicted that this is second versus third? Well... I will say that now. Uh, Rangers, uh, Livingston, the last five between these two. In fact, Rangers have won three and Livingston have won two. But obviously, this was in the Scottish. Um, well, some of these games were in the Scottish Championship. But yeah, um, the last game between uh, Rangers, Livingston, and Ibrox, in fact, was a three 0 win to uh, to Rangers. Um, Rangers obviously lost to Celtic in the Old Firm game. They started really slow in that game. Very, very surprised how how slow they did start in that game. Um, they'll obviously be without Jordan Jones, who got sent off. Uh, it wasn't a tackle. I mean, I said I said this on the Sam Radio Football Show. He, he basically scythed uh, Moritz Bauer down. And it's just a terrible, terrible tackle. Um, but, obviously, they've got Ryan Kent now. He is likely to make his... Second debut for Rangers uh, this weekend. Uh, but, you know, they will be determined to bounce back. And, uh, yeah, Livingston, uh, they have got a good record against Livingston, in fact. Um, I think Livingston has never won at Ibrox. And the fact is that, uh, you know, they did draw. Um, they did draw in, in the 2001-2002 season. It was a very credible 0-0 draw that day. So I think... I think that's going to be very, very key for this one. Livingston, obviously 2-1 winners over St. Mirren. Uh, and, you know, they looked pretty, pretty good. Um, obviously, uh, Big Alan Lithgow scored uh, the opener uh, for Livingston. And Lyndon Dykes, obviously scoring as well. He's obviously signed a new contract, so he's extended his deal to the summer of 2022. Four goals in nine games. Uh, since for the for Lyndon Dykes, uh, the start of this season, so it's, it's a good, good, definitely good return for uh, for Lyndon Dykes. Um, this is a very tricky game for Livingston. Um, I think they will have to uh, ride their luck. I think they will have to defend astutely for uh, for this game. Uh, but as far as this game goes, I can only really see one winner. I think I think Livingston will do really well to defend, defend, defend. But I just think Rangers will get through them eventually. I think it will be a very, very close game. I don't think it's going to be... I can't see a 3-4-0 or 5-0. I really can't. Uh, so I'm going to go for uh, Rangers to win 2-0 against Livingston. I just think Rangers will be a little bit too strong for Livingston. But Livingston have a very good start to the season. And obviously to be third is no... No main feat, so they've done really, really well to finish, uh, to to get to third place so far this season. So, some tough games coming up, though. Obviously, Rangers this week and then Aberdeen next week. So, but for me, Rangers to win this one by two goals to nil. And the final game of Saturday is Ross County against St Mirren, and the last five between these two uh, have resulted in one win to Ross County. Two wins to St Mirren and a draw in there for good measure. And the last game between the sides was a 2-1 win to St Mirren. But obviously this was um, 
a wee while ago. Uh, 2015, I think it was. Uh, Ross County, what can we say? I mean, the last couple of games, obviously losing 4-1 to Livingston and then obviously losing 3-0 Aberdeen. They've not been very good lately. Uh, but obviously coming back in front of the home crowd, so, you know, obviously they've got a win and a defeat there. Uh, obviously winning 3-0 against Hamilton and obviously losing 4-1 to uh, Livingston, like I've said. So, yeah, I think I think Stuart Kettlewell and uh, Stuart Ferguson are definitely looking like looking at this uh, league and saying, okay, it's, we are back in the big time, but it is very very tricky to uh, to do that. Um, obviously, St. Mirren, you know, to be fair, to be fair to them, they did play okay at Livingston. Second half, they definitely gave uh, Livingston a better a better game. Obviously, that that goal. From um, McGinnis, uh, you know, gives them confidence, and then obviously, you know, they could have snatched a draw at the end there. Uh, but having said that, it's uh, it was a very good win for uh, for Livingston that day, and obviously St. Mirren, uh, you know, they'll be disappointed, but they're playing some good football under Jim Goodwin. They they're playing some really good football under Jim Goodwin. I think I think results will definitely come in the end. Uh. As this game goes, I can only really see Ross County wanting to bounce back, and I think they will bounce back with this one. I think it'll be a very, very tight game, um, but I do think that Ross County, obviously home advantage, uh, St Mirren, obviously away form is not very good for them at the moment, so I'm going to go for a 2-1 win to Ross County. I just think that Ross County will be a little bit str too strong for Ross County, but be a very interesting game. be a very, very interesting game indeed. So that is it. That is my game week five. That's my match previews and my predictions. So just go over them very, very quickly. Hamilton nil, Southwick four. Aberdeen two, Sir Johnston one. Hearts one, Mullerwell two. Kilmarnock one, Hibs one. Rangers two, Livingston nil. And Ross County two, St Mirren one. So that is it. That is my match week five uh, preview and predictions. If you want to have your predictions read out, then please do put them in the comment section below. Uh, and I do, I do, I do like to interact with fans. So if you if you do have your predictions, then please put them in into the comment section below. That would be fantastic. Um, and yes, I uh, we shall see what happens uh, this weekend. Good luck to your teams. Uh, and we shall see what happens uh, in this in this week. And uh, some good games coming up uh, definitely. Uh, especially with the uh, Edinburgh Derby next week so that will be interesting indeed but uh, thank you very much for watching this video and i'll be back very very soon hit that like hit that like button and hit that subscribe button cheers bye bye for now